Hey guys, um, in today's video, I'll be explaining how to solve for the area of a regular polygon that's inscribed within a circle. Uh, so when I say the term inscribed, I mean that um, a regular polygon, meaning all of its sides are equal, equal all of its angles are equivalent. Um, it, the regular polygon has all of its vertices touching a uh, part of the circle. So the circle, you could refer to the circle as being circumscribed around the regular polygon or the regular polygon being inscribed within the circle. So because of this, the radius of the circle is also, you can assume as the radius of the regular polygon, meaning that from the center, the distance between the center to one of the vertices is the same as the actual radius of the circle. So our formula for solving for the area of a regular polygon is area equals one half apothem times perimeter. So perimeter represents the perimeter of the entire shape. So all the side lengths combined. And apothem represents the vertical length from the center of the circle to the middle of a side. So like this. I know the um, polygon might not be the, drawn to the best scale. It's kind of at an angle, but uh, you can assume this is a, right, um, a, a regular polygon. So as I said before, this line is the actual apothem. So it connects the center to um, the midpoint of the one of the sides. And by solving for this apothem, you can multiply it by the perimeter and divide that by 2 to solve for the area of the entire circle. Because if you notice, each circle is split. Each, each regular polygon consists of several triangles. This one consists of five triangles. So by solving for by solving for the area using the triangle method, you can see this is similar to the formula of a triangle, which is one half. By solving for that, you could also you could also think of this as area equals one half apothem times side. Because think of for each triangle, because think the a the apothem is the same thing as the height, and the height times the side, which is the base, would get divided by two would get you the area. So then the only difference is this is just multiplied by the number of sides. So this would, in this case, it would be five. So if you multiply the side length by five, I know that's not the best five, you get the perimeter. So um, that's how you can relate this to the triangle formula. So um, using the radius, you're able to solve for the actual side, um, actual apothem. It might not be that clear because uh, there's no way you can use Pythagorean theorem or anything because um, there is no actual other length and Oh, yeah, one more thing I would like to remind you is this is a right triangle when you split this. But you can you solve for the central angle, divide that by 2, and use that to um, using one of our sine, cosine, and tangent properties to solve for the both side. So a central angle refers to um, the angle that faces one of the sides. And you can solve for this angle, central angle by taking 360 and dividing it by the total number of sides that you have. So here in this situation, we have, we have 5 sides, so 360 divided by 5. And you get a value of, you can input this into your calculator, or you can do mental math, and you get a value of 72. So each of these angles is 72. However, since we're trying to solve for one triangle, that's a right triangle, as since we split one of the triangles in half, we do 72 divided by 2, and we get a value of 36. So we know this angle is 36. So using our sine, cosine, and tangent, and our trigonomic functions, we're able to solve for the side length using this. So first of all, we should we have to both so solve for this, the one the half of the side, and the apothem. So let's first start off with the apothem. We can use the um we can use the cosine formula. So we can do cosine of thirty six is equivalent to at adjacent or apothem over six. So we can input this in our calculator, do cosine of thirty six. Remember you want to have your calculator in degree mode and multiply that by six. We get a value of 4.85. So we know this is 4.85, the apothem. Now we have to solve for this side length. So we can use, since we now since we have the 6, we can also use here the sine function. So we can do sine of 36 is equivalent to opposite over 6. Same thing, we input sine of 36, multiply by 6, and we get a value of 3.53. So we know this is 3.53. Now that we have the apothem, let's solve for the perimeter. Since this is half of um, one side, we multiply that by 2. So 3.53 times 2, and we get a value of 7.06 per side. 
plus a zero. So then if we were to multiply this by five, we get a value of 35.3 for our total perimeter. So this is perimeter. That's so uh, we'll just uh, label this as P. So that's our perimeter. So now we can input all our values into this. So area equals one half times a bottom of 4.85 times 35.3. And if we were to multiply this out, 4.85 times 35.3 divided by 2, we get a value of 85.6. So our area is 85.6. However, um, one more thing you would like, like to, I would, you should remember is that um, in these situations, uh, a lot of times if you have a triangle, so instead your actual polygon within the circle is a triangle, then um, you wanna you even you don't divide two seventy by uh, three to solve for the central angle. Instead, you divide three sixty by three to solve for the central angle. Uh, so that's it for this video. Um, we went a little bit above five minutes, but that's fine because uh, this is a more hard concept. And I hope you guys liked the video, subscribe to the channel, and I hope to see you guys next time.